It's always a fight to preserve anything. We have a responsibility to something this special and pristine to preserve it for, for all time. And we're just here a short time. It's more important than just us right now. It needs to go forward for generations. My, my family first arrived in this country in the late 1800s. And ever since then, uh, we've been either on the river or within, certainly within the Devil's River Basin. We have always tried our best to be good stewards of not only the land, but of the river and the river proper. So the Devil's River isn't just a pretty river. It's universally considered the most pristine and pure river in Texas. The Chihuahuan Desert overlaps here with the Edwards Plateau landscape right here in the Devil's Basin, as well as the South Texas Tamaulipan Brush Country comes in. It means we have the most diverse biodiversity you can imagine. I'm Randy Nuns. I'm currently the president of the Devil's River Conservancy. I'd like to think that we're continuing the spirit of the Devil's River that was established by those people that lived here for so long. Our duty is to pass that on to the future generations. We had to have an organization out here that only cared about this river. The Devil's River Conservancy as, as it is today is a organization that has many parts and we all come together in a unified form uh, with a common interest of protecting this river. My name is David Honeycutt and I'm the founder of the Devil's River Conservancy. It is important for everyone that sees this or listens to this and have it drummed in their head that every single citizen in Texas has a moral responsibility to protect our wild places. My name is Ruthie Russell and in the early 70s my husband and I bought a ranch out here on the Devil's River. I just think that Almost every human being would be on our side if they were just educated about how special this place is. I can't say enough how invaluable this country is and everything within it. Uh, my name is Dell Dickinson and I live and work on the Skyland Ranch uh, which uh, abuts Devil's River. I, I can remember when I was a kid growing up out here uh, looking out on the horizon and trying to envision what it looked like a hundred years ago, five hundred years ago, a thousand years ago. There's a legacy of conservation in this whole valley. All that work may go to waste. What we really want to do is preserve the spirit of the Devil's River. If I were to see development around the ranch, it would absolutely devastate me. It's part of your spirit and your soul to know that these wild places exist, even if you can't ever go there. If we don't do these things now, uh, the, way, the way that this area has changed in the last 10 years, then you could expect there would be problems with, with the water resource long term. Uh, the various issues facing uh, Val Verde County and the stakeholders within the county, uh, water rights issues, the wind farm issues, uh, the land fragmentation, and uh, industrial development. Even though it's a short river, it basically feeds about a third of that water into Lake Amistad, and that goes on to the Rio Grande Valley and supports farmers and you know, all kinds of things. The Pecos and the Devils are very, very important for the Rio Grande Valley and, you know, all of Texas. I don't think there's gonna be enough water for the whole state of Texas eventually if we keep going the way we're going. And so every county around this county has some regulation of groundwater pumping. 
uh, through their groundwater conservation district. Valverde County, this county, has no groundwater conservation district. There are a couple of ranchette subdivisions along the river, but there's more and more pressure to keep carving it up. More utilization of the resources, more consumption is difficult. We encourage conventional as well as uh, renewable energy sources, but don't blow it by putting these industrialized facilities in the wrong place. We still need some pockets of wilderness to where the human soul can get recharged. I feel a moral responsibility to try and expose the dangers that this river is up against. It's the last vestige of, of an element of our history uh, that if we're not careful will be closed to us forever. It's important for a, a, an advocacy group like the, the DRC to stand and, and protect an area as unique as, as the Devil's River and educate the population. The Devil's River Conservancy, especially considering how small we are, I think we are making about as huge an impact as we can and just help preserve part of Texas. You know, what could be more valiant than that? Devil's River Conservancy, uh, it's a partnership. Straight and simple. Uh, we've got common goals, uh, we share those goals, and we work towards accomplishing those goals together. One of the first things that uh, we really have achieved within DRC is outreach to the neighbors and all the stakeholders. Find some common ground that we all agree upon on preserving this, this resource. You know, you can talk about pretty postcard places in the world, but until you're there and get the, those boots on the ground, you really don't get a sense of it. We would love for you to join us at the Devil's River Conservancy. People across Texas should all appreciate and advocate for this river because it's damn well theirs.